Mercedes and thanks for joining me again today for a brand new recycling project. Well on today's project we're actually going to take our fabric scraps and we're going to recycle and recreate them into brand new fabric panels. Well in upcoming segments we're actually then going to take these fabric panels and turn them into uh, new tie dyeing techniques as well as projects as headbands and patchwork scarves and since it is back to school you may want to take those fabric panels and do some really cool and very creative fabric notebook covers so you know what I'm gonna uh, put all of my stuff to the side because we have a lot of ground to cover today and I hope you join me for those upcoming segments so the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is take some of your fabric scraps and we're going to be dividing them up into small medium and large size piles. Now don't worry too much about that fabric weight or the color because that's going to come into play in a few minutes. And you don't have to do your whole fabric scrap spin at the same time. This project is to, supposed to be fun and easy and just look at it as putting a brand new puzzle together. Well once you have these pieces out, you're halfway done because at this point you need to decide what project it is that you want to do. You can decide to design organically, allow all those beautiful creative ideas that you have within you just flow naturally to the surface and see what the universe returns or if you have a project in mind get that pencil and paper handy I don't want you to get halfway through your project and then not have enough fabric well I actually decided to do a fabric scraps quilt and if you miss any of the instructions today please don't worry because you can always visit www.m721organics.com and on the home page there will be a free download of all the instructions and supplies that you'll need. Okay so now let's get started on our fabric scraps quilt. My pieces are actually in the medium size range and I decided that I want my squares to be about three and a half by three and a half inch squares. Now why am I using my straight pins? Well if in your uh, fabric scraps bin you have a lot of heavyweight twills and canvas you may only be able to cut one to two pieces at a time but since I'm working with a lightweight jersey I can actually cut three and four pieces of fabric at a time and I use my straight pins in order to hold it into place. Now you can also uh, use your pinking shears if you don't want to use your fabric scissors and you can use the pinking shears raw edge as part of your design as well. Now why am I doing this project? Well I actually ended up finding out that whenever we toss out our fabric scraps into the landfill it sometimes takes 25 to 45 years to break down and decompose. We definitely don't want to do that to our planet. And you know something, you can also do a very quick search on the internet because there are a lot of um, fabric mills out there that actually purchase fabric scraps by the pound. So you never know, if you want to make some extra cash, you could be sitting on a mini uh, gold mine in your craft bin right now. Well, once you have your squares actually cut, I'm going to put this to the side because I actually have one started. Now why does mine uh, seem a little bit bulky? Well when I turn it over I actually like to pin my fabric quilt prior to start uh, constructing it together and the reason for that being is that since we are working with fabric scraps you could end up discovering that you don't have enough fabric like it happened to me. No big deal. Remember, this is your creation and this is your time to let all of that beautiful design ideas that you have come to the surface. Well, I actually took a small piece of fabric here and I mixed it with another uh, small piece and I actually came up with the square. And I'm hoping that you can see this here. I actually decided to use a different texture in my quilt and I used a rib to mix it with the jersey. Now, this is a, another fun uh, time where you can decide Decide that maybe you don't want to use too much green maybe you actually want to use a little bit more blue and your puzzle will start uh, coming to life 
Now, I actually have one started here, and this quilt is a little bit bigger, and if you've joined me for any other recycling segments, I'm sure you know I love that Mero machine. And I hope you can see this, because I'm actually going to be incorporating an exposed uh, cover stitch into this quilt. I used a contrast thread on this side, and then I actually mixed it with another color thread on the other side. And there you have it. You're going to continue constructing your quilt until you're happy with the size and width and also length of your fabric panel. So I hope that you join me again for another recycling segment. Please remember to continue to recycle, continue to reinvent, and continue to recreate you because you're worth it. Thanks again for joining me again today, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.